Morning everyone, Dr. Eric, your fitness physician and peptide doc, continuing on my series on peptides. I'm bouncing back and forth between metabolism, hormones, and peptides. I want to talk today about uh, melanotan, melanotan 1 and 2. Uh, they're basically the same molecule, but basically a variance of the alpha melanin stimulate, stimulating hormone, and there's a 1 and a 2. The 2 is basically different in the fact that it has effects on uh, basically more on tanning and more on metabolism support, whereas 1 is more uh, does not. It has more of an anti, uh, more of the overall anti-inflammatory uh, healing, which I'll get into a little bit. So basically, mostly I'm going to focus on melanotan 2 because it is used mostly, uh, not as much usage for um, melanotan 1 because the additional benefits that the latter provides. So uh, again, it's this, uh, the variant of the alpha melanocyte stimulating, melanocyte stimulating hormone, which our body natural, naturally produces. In it. And again, it's involved in various uh, things throughout the body. One of the biggest ones is involved in metabolic support and involved in your metabolism. Gluco, glucose or sugar, glucose and lipid homeostasis. Um, it's also involved in, uh, anti, in your immune system. Uh, so when people that have a lot of, uh, I wrote AI, uh, autoimmunity is, uh, but uh, autoimmunity uh, it conditions because of immune dysregulation plays a huge role in that. It, it can be involved with uh, the pigment and tanning and of course the biggest one is cholinergic pathways. So we talked about the parasympathetic and the sympathetic pathways. Uh, sympathetic, of course, the fight or flight, the, the one that kind of jazzes you up. Parasympathetic, where the cholinergic system is the one that kind of the rest and digest. Uh, so a lot of people, this is we're finding has a huge connection uh, with the brain. You know, the cholinergic pathways transmits through the vagus nerve, which is a large nerve that runs from the brain down all the way into the body, can, controls a lot of that parasympathetic output. A lot of us, unfortunately, are in a hypersympathetic state, especially when we're stressed, we're, we're overtraining, we're not sleeping, uh, we're kind of ramped up. So your heart rate's creeping up, your blood pressure's creeping up. Um, your cortisol is creeping up. Things are you're you're more of that sympathetic state. Can't sleep. You're kind of wired. Um, yeah, that's a, a indication that your body needs to balance that out. Again, it's all about the balance. We balance out anabolism and catabolism. We want to balance out the uh, parasympathetic and the sympathetic. So we want to. Most people need a little more cholinergic tone, less sympathetic tone. That can, has a huge role in uh, immunity. Has inflammation, um, fat loss, uh, muscle gain, stress, mental function, and cognition. So. Balancing that as mass, and this is a whole topic in and of itself, which I'll get into in the future, but um, that's one of the roles that it has uh, in, in this. So again, with melanotan, and awesome for immune support. Again, it balances out um, the different uh, uh, thymusins. We talked about thymusin 1 and thymusin 2, but our body makes a lot of different types of um, thymocytes and uh, your you know, T cells and B cells is, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> the T cells are your T helper cells, your killer cells. Uh, the ones that uh, support other immune. This again, I don't want to get uh, too sciencey on this here, but a lot of times it gets a little out of balance. The Th1, the Th2, and the Th17, and what's called the Treg or the regulatory cells, the ones that balance things out. So people that have autoimmune conditions, a little too much on one side or the other. In other words, it won't recognize intracellular organs. That's why these people have problems with Lyme disease and EBV and other viruses. The body just doesn't don't recognize their own infection, those infections anymore because the our innate immune system, our tracking system, is not working properly. Normally, when a a virus or uh, an infection, something comes in our cells, our cells engulf them, put these little molecules on the outside that are recognized by uh, the antibodies or the B cells or other parts of like the natural killer cells. It basically kind of like a little, uh, little, like a warning, like a little attachment that the, our, our, our own immune system will attach onto and then it'll engulf that cell and destroy it. So what happens is when our immune system gets out of whack, these little, these little sensors get hidden and our body can't recognize it and that's what can uh, lead to these issues. So. Again, a whole lecture in and of itself, but the bottom line is that melanotan can help balance this out. So when people are, are over-inflamed or have autoimmune conditions, they're just uh, over-inflamed, whether from stress or from toxins or whatever that may be, we'll start often with thymosin alpha and or melanotan or both, and it really quiets down that immune system, lowers that inflammation, gets the immune system backfiring normally again. Now, you know, weeks or months later, we can start our other therapies, and now they're going to work better. So there's a science to this. There's a method to this. You don't want to just start someone on... Uh, certain hormones or perhaps a growth hormone secretagogue you know, or uh, right out of the gate because they may backfire. A lot of these peptides can not work or a lot of these other, any medication can not work if you're not doing the proper thing. That's why it's important to work with someone who understands the science, a clinician. A lot of people, of course, you know, promoting these things online who are non-clinicians, they're saying, oh yeah, try this, try that. You don't want to experiment. You want to do this the right way or you could really mess yourself up. Very important. The other thing with melanotan too, very much involved with cardio protection and neuroprotection has some help with uh, neurologic conditions, inflammatory conditions, Alzheimer's, uh, many other uh, uh, traumatic brain injuries, things of this nature can help with myelin and protection. Massively important, as we talked about, for anti-inflammatory and decreasing oxidative stress. You know, we all know about inflammation aging, right? That so inflammation and oxidation are a huge component of aging and wearing us down because of the stressors on our body today, the toxins, the bad things in the food and the water, 
lack of sleep, poor diet, inflammation is the root cause of many of these things. And so this is a great anti-inflammatory against someone who's inflamed from whatever reason, from an autoimmune condition, uh, stress, micronutrient deficiencies. Sometimes we have to quiet that down. Melanotans also has a big role with this one. Again, metabolic support and libido. And we found out that it actually can boost libido and it's been helpful for um, uh, men with erectile dysfunction or uh, libido issues and women with libido issues. It's a quite a, a, quite a boost in libido. And um, now over time it can wear off, but in the beginning it can, be, it can last for some time. And again, the whole point is to get someone back on track to their normal metabolism. So you probably don't need it after a period of time. But again, this first month or two or three, you can get a quite a boost, you know, a decent boost in libido. Uh, very helpful for people that have metabolic syndrome, metabolic conditions. So this is one yet another tool to help get everything firing on all cylinders. And of course, the big one is on um, pigment and tanning. Uh, this is kind of a notice that oh, this works with this. So if think patients with vitiligo or pigment dysfunctions, it's used therapeutically. But of course, people can do it for tanning. So if someone say you're going on a trip and you, you burn easily, you can take this uh, for a few days before or a week before. Uh, before and it'll help you get a natural tan to protect you from getting burnt where you, you may be. So photo protection is big for this and it's natural and then if you stop taking it, it wears off. So a lot of people just want to tan and this is a great uh, thing for that. The other big one is metabolic support. So it can help with metabolism and appetite suppression because the MCR4 uh, receptor that it works on in the brain, it's one of these things like leptin and some of these other neurochemicals that affect our appetite and our metabolism. So it helps metabolize uh, glucose, fat, helps me metabolic support and, and appetite control. So this can be used for, and helpful for weight loss or fat loss. Helps get your immune system, uh, your appetite and your, your uh, metabolic system kind of firing again, can balance us out. So in the beginning it can be useful to prime someone for a weight loss protocol, a fat loss protocol. We have some peptide protocols that can be helpful for fat loss in addition to proper nutrition and, and fitness of course. And then this is a, a primer of this. So a lot of massive benefits. Some lanterns are really cool peptide. I'm going to continue on in part two. Uh, a little bit more detail what it can be done, used uh, therapeutically, and well as go over dosing. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed part one, and we'll talk to you soon. Everyone have a great day.